Hey everybody, Tom Baxter from Beta Fish News Club here, uh, going over the Dwarf Water Lettuce uh, Care Guide. Uh, if you want to download this, please visit our site, Beta Fish News Club, Dwarf Water Lettuce, and you'll see it there from download on our main page. Um, do betas like this plant? It's kind of what the guide is about, but it's also a care guide on the Dwarf Water Lettuce plant. So this water lettuce isn't like the lettuce on your Big Mac. It's kind of a fancy lily pad type plant. Um, it is outlawed in some places, so just be careful. I think California is one of those states where, because it's so invasive, um, it's been known as a weed. So just do your research. Some, I think Ontario and Canada also has banned it. So just make sure that if you want this plant, that it's actually legal where you're going to be having it. Um, for outdoor use anyway, sometimes indoor use it's not banned. It's come from Pistacia stratotis. Um, this is a very easy to grow plant in your tank and it gives your beta fish or fish uh, shade if they want it. It lives up for two years. Um, 10 gallons is what it wants. It's medium to hard to take care of. You don't need any special fertilizer. It likes temperature from 72 to 80 Fahrenheit and it's good with different plants and fish. Um, it spends a lot of time on the surface of the water as it comes from the Nile River. Um, it's quite prolific and it's available on almost every continent, but it doesn't like to be frozen. It can grow like crazy and really fast. Um, like I mentioned, it's illegal in states like these, Alabama, California, Texas, Wisconsin. Um, it has got a growth pace, pace that is amazing and uh, it's almost labeled a weed. Um, can be contained though. You just need to make sure you trim the roots and that you take out some of the plant at times, otherwise it will take over. Um, it's a lot good to it. It uh, gives a good hiding place for a lot of fish and they like to eat algae. So the thing about it is um, this is a balance because you do need some algae, but these plants do like filtering algae um, it, it makes a very good filter and removes harmful bacteria it looks like lettuce that's why they call it water lettuce and it floats using little hairs on the leaves they grow to about four inches full grown in capacity and they're quite robust they like 65 to 70 like most tropical fish Fahrenheit and average pHs but it doesn't like direct sunlight so you want to make sure that your lighting is not directly on it and it also doesn't like strong currents um, it just likes low flowing water uh, likes 10 gallon tanks for more information we've got the article and the video there on 10 gallon tanks here's a good of list of good mates snails crabs crayfish some herbivores um, some bad mates catfish chiclids plecos goldfish and koi who might want to eat it um, you'll biggest thing is you don't want it to overgrow your tank as it grows so fast but Roots are pretty low maintenance. You want to trim every couple weeks. It takes about one to three days for the plant to get used to its new environment when it's new. And there's ways to propagate it. And we'll leave those to you to check out in the guide if you wanted to check that out. Um, some problems it might have are small discoloration in the leaves or roots disappearing. So you want to make sure that uh, you check this out if you have that going on. Uh, or it might not grow or grow too fast. So you need to look to water conditions for both of those. So back to the big question, do beta fish like this plant? And the answer is, I'm going to change this to the full window so we can see. Um, basically, yes, they do like the dwarf water lettuce because it has very similar characteristics to what betas want. Sometimes though it can have mosquito eggs in the plant leaves hair so you want to be make sure that you check for that and some the leaves can contain a poison oxalate crystals so you want to make sure that people don't eat the leaves and the plants fish can't get them either. So they are a good fish for your a uh, good plant for your fish tank. Just make sure they're legal in your area. If you want to download this quick care guide please visit our website. Thank you for watching.